morning. This is Sarah, the Healthy Home Economist of TheHealthyHomeEconomist.com. And today we have a special treat for all of you. I have uh, my wonderful friend, Maureen Diaz, who I have known for many years. And when I was tr still trying to figure out how to boil an egg, Maureen was producing videos on traditional cooking. So she has been doing this a lot longer than I have. And I look to her guidance for many uh, things that I am learning and continue to learn and in this adventure of traditional cooking that we're all um, involved in. Maureen is the Western Price Chapter Leader for the Gettysburg area in Pennsylvania. She is also a blogger for the Liberation Wellness blog and she has recently produced a DVD for the Liberation Wellness Diet and I'll put the information on that on my um, on the written part of this blog so that you guys can click on over and see what she's been up to. But for today Maureen is going to be showing us how to make a wonderful healthy dessert with uh, with cream, our, one of our favorite foods, cream and butter, of course, and so we can all stay slim and wonderful and energetic. And the name of this dessert is panna cotta. And with that, I will let Maureen do her magic in my kitchen. Welcome mm -hmm. to my kitchen, Maureen. Thank you, Sarah. It's nice to be here again. Panna cotta is one of my favorite desserts, and it's also a great survival tool. Now, Sarah mentioned about being slim and healthy, and I have to say, I'm on a, on a quite a high-fat diet, and I've actually lost 50 pounds by eating this way. So panna cotta is one of these things that I enjoy. Sometimes I have it for breakfast, and it's very simple to make. You're just starting with raw cream. We're doing four cups, I think, of raw cream. But I'm starting with only half of that amount in the saucepan and I'm sprinkling two and a half teaspoons of gelatin over the surface. We're going to let that soften for just a minute. Now I start with only part of the cream because I want the nutritious value from the raw cream. I don't want the cream to be cooked and then we lose some of the nutrients such as the vitamin A and the vitamin D that will be uh, broken down and diminished. So I start with um, cold cream in the saucepan, about half of the amount of cream total. We want to let the gelatin soften over the surface. And then we're just going to gently warm the cream in the pan. So I'll turn this onto about medium. And let me just show them quickly what gelatin I used. I picked this up at my local health food store. It's plain unflavored gelatin and um, you should be able to find it. There's several brands out there, but if you call your health food store, you should be able to get this. This is Great Lakes Unflavored Gelatin, pure protein. So that's what you need to get. I use that gelatin also sometimes as a treat to make jello for my kids. We don't do a lot of fruit juice because of the sugar, but we will, just as a treat, sometimes make finger jello. And so I use the Great Lakes gelatin for that same purpose. And maybe we'll put some fruit in there and top it with heavy cream, heavy whipped cream. But our gelatin is getting soft. And what we're wanting to do here is just gently stir until the gelatin is completely dissolved into the cream. Now, sometimes I take a vanilla bean and I just slice it down the middle. And I'll drop that into the pan also to flavor the gelatin or the cream mixture very nicely with a fresh vanilla bean. Well, I say fresh, it's not really fresh, is it? Um, but today we're just going to use a good vanilla extract after we've heated the cream. So let's just let this, let this dissolve. It'll just take a minute. Okay, our gelatin is well dissolved now, so we're ready to go ahead and finish with the rest of the panna cotta recipe. I am going to add, um, today I'm going to use some honey, two tablespoons of honey. You could even use um, less, uh, probably a tablespoon is fine. Sometimes I use maple syrup, and maple syrup is a very delicious flavor in the panna cotta. But we're going to do honey, that's excellent also. And we're going to also add a teaspoon of vanilla, but we'll wait until we've gotten the, uh, the cold cream and the honey added. So we'll start here. Um, is that a tablespoon, Sarah? That's a tablespoon, yes. Okay. I don't have my glasses on, so I cannot see. Now, Sarah, you made this the other day, and you said how much you liked it. I loved it. It, was it too sweet, though? You know, I was surprised because when I, it, there's so little sweetener in this for the amount of cream, I was very surprised at how delicious and sweet it was. It tasted, mm -hmm. um, like you said, almost like ice cream. Yes. Except for like it, a pudding, it just... like an ice cream pudding. It yes. was, the texture of it was so 
uh, enjoyable. Yes. It's just smooth and creamy and velvety and wonderful. And the cream itself is sweet enough that I don't find a strong yes. desire to add any more sweetener to it. I've cut way back. To me, one tablespoon of honey is probably enough. And since I watch my carbohydrate intake, that is important to me to use as little as possible. All right, so we've got the honey added. I'm just going to pour in the raw cream. Look at how wonderful that cream is. Oh, I just love fresh raw cream. And let me just add quickly that um, if you don't have access to raw cream in your community, and I certainly hope you do, and if you don't, please try to seek it out because it is this dessert will be the best with raw cream. Um, please do not buy the ultra pasteurized. Uh, organic cream at the store because that is a very unhealthy uh, substitute. What you can try to do is find low temp pasteurized cream um, by Natural by Nature is a good brand and um, if you request it at your health food store they'd be happy to order it for you if you're unable to find a local farmer to get fresh cream. Sometimes um, areas have a small perhaps family owned creamery also where they do pasteurize but maybe the cattle are at least grass-fed and um, and they will low temperature pasteurize instead of ultra pasteurized. So, so that's another option there but certainly the raw cream for all of the deliciousness and the nutritiousness that it uh, the nutrition that it holds is your best option for flavor and for health. So and this is yes and for ease of digestion of course. Yes yes definitely so that's it. This is done, except for that we're going to now pour it into our bowls. Is that enough? Is two enough? I think so. Okay. Yeah. We'll pour it into bowls and then we're going to chill it. Now the reason why I separated the cream into um, only using half on the, on the pan is so that it will rapidly chill and gel. So it will probably take about 20 minutes for this to solidify and then it'll be, it will be ready to top with some fruit or just eat as it is. So we'll put this in the refrigerator and come back to it in a little while and it will be all done, ready, and we'll enjoy it. We'll show you what it looks like. The panna cotta has now chilled for an hour in the refrigerator and we've topped it with some, um, some local blueberries and Maureen, it looks delicious. I'm ready to dig in. and taste it and see how delicious it, it is. It's fantastic. It's creamy. It's got the consistency of a nice thick pudding. Mm. This is very mm. good and it's plenty sweet. It's mm. wonderful. Your family's going to love this and how healthy for all of them to enjoy after a wonderful traditional dinner. And let's just mention for those who are dairy intolerant, you can also make this with coconut milk. I like to purchase coconut butter or coconut cream concentrate and mix it up with warm water to the consistency that I like and then I'll make panna cotta with that. You can also use, of course, a canned coconut milk. Thai Kitchen is a good brand that doesn't have as many additives as some of the others do, so it's a good choice. But this works wonderfully with coconut milk and then you get the, the exciting flavor of the coconut as well. Thanks so much to Maureen Diaz of the Liberation Wellness blog for being with us today for our video and um, I think we'll just end the video now so we can finish our panna cotta. <laughs> Sounds good to me.